good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another ranking style video, and I figured that this one's going to be a good one. We're going to be ranking every single WWE action figure fix-up that I have done so far in 2020. This is adding up all the appointments we've done, all the surgeries we've done, doing all those figures and kind of putting them in a ranking tier list, and it was very, very difficult to come up with this list. I had a ton, like, it took me, it took me quite a lot of time because I was trying to decide which ones I liked more, which ones I didn't like, which was the suckiest, you know, or which one was the most boring, and so I had a lot of difficult time doing that. But today, we're going to be doing that ranking video, and if you guys were wondering exactly what a fix-up is, a fix-up is taking an elite or a different figure and then switching the head sculpt or switching the arms or switching the boots or combining figures together to make a fix-up. So no painting is required in this. There's no painting. There's no, I don't even think there's, there may be one or two acetone jobs or something like that, but I wanted to keep it fair, keep the paint out of it. I'm not going to spend a ton of, ton of time on each figure because we do have quite a few to get through and tomorrow I'm thinking about doing my ranking my customs so far of 2020 let me know if you guys would like to see that down below but let's shut the hell up and dive into the ranking of every single MDT WWE action figure fix up of 2020 so far so let's start things off guys with this Kevin Owens now if you guys remember this is the Royal Rumble attire Kevin Owens with the white t-shirt and we put the white kick pads on here I think this is the hurricane boots right here with like HBK feet and it just didn't turn out the way I liked I think if it had white tape or maybe all white shorts and white tape or something it might be even better but I don't know I just I just feel like it felt flat and something had to go at the very bottom and this one just did not live up to the expectations I was thinking so that's the reason I put it at the very bottom moving on guys we do have an AJ Styles fix up and this one is just very boring you know it's the Elite 47 AJ Styles it has the I think it's the is it the the Survivor Series Elite AJ Styles kick pads on there it looks great it ties in beautifully with the kick pads and the gloves and everything it's just kind of boring and it's kind of an older figure I don't know it just wasn't as impressive or as nice in my opinion as others so I put it here at second to last. Next up guys is a Rey Mysterio fix up and this one is solid I don't think it's horrific but I think it's this head sculpt that I really don't like. I feel like if I switched the head sculpt to a different head sculpt and maybe painted it up it would be much higher but it would be a custom then so I don't really know. Maybe just switching the head sculpt with the Elite 72 would probably bring it out. This is the Elite 72 body with the Elite 69 Rey Mysterio head or is it 60? I think it's the Elite 69 head and feet on there but I think this could be a much better fix up. It just doesn't do it for me, plus the oversized hands kind of, you know, turn me away from it. Next up, guys, is a Daniel Bryan. Now, this one's kind of plain Jane, and it's kind of what we're going to be getting with the brand new Elite 79 Daniel Bryan that should be here any day. We'll get the review up for you guys, but it is the battle pack with the GM Daniel Bryan head sculpt on the Elite 73, and for the time, it kind of fit that kind of Daniel Bryan. This is kind of what he looked like in the ring, so it fit perfectly, and it's not too high on the list because it is pretty boring, but I thought it was higher than these simply because at the time, it was very, very nice. Next up, guys, is one we just recently did. It is the Elite 74 fix-up with the, uh, the what is it, the WCW 2-pack head sculpt on there, or the Entrance Greats head sculpt. Fits in perfectly for a Goldberg. Again, kind of boring, and we already, uh, you know, I've, I've had the Elite 74 for a long time, and just the simple head swap. I mean, it's nice, but, you know, it's it's not a huge, huge improvement from the screaming head sculpt to this, so I am going to put it here in the ranking for Goldberg. Next up, guys, is a, another Kevin Owens fix-up, and we have the Kevin Owens Show fix-up. I think it's the Elite 53 Kevin Owens with the red and white boots. These may be Ric Flair boots. I can't remember, but this is a really odd fix-up. I, I just had the idea one day to, to put some color on this guy, and I feel like, I don't know, it's not horrific, but it just looks odd. Does it not look odd? And the oversized arms kind of, you know, point me away as well, but I don't know. It's just, it's not the best. It's not the worst. It's just one of those that just doesn't, it just, I don't know. It, it falls kind of flat for me. Next up, we have the Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch fix-up with the Elite 72. Now, this would probably be way higher if the leg wasn't loosey-goosey, but I still like what we did with this thing on action figure surgery episode 50. I love this head sculpt. I like the jacket on there. The ultimate edition figure is nice. The legs look great. I love these kick pad feet and the knee pads. It's a really great figure, but until I fix that leg problem right there with the loosey goosey, it's going to continue to be low on the list. So I'm just going to sit her over there and hopefully she'll improve over time. Up next, we have another fix up we just did and it is the new Elite 78 Randy Orton head sculpt on the Elite 67 body. Nothing too crazy with it. Simple head swap. It still looks really good. I love the updated torso that we get with the new updated Randy Orton's, but it's just a simple head swap, and it's just, you know, it's nothing too impressive, but I do, uh, I still like the fix-up a lot. It's just not outside-the-box thinking. Another one we have next is the Matt Hardy ECW Ringside Exclusive. Now, this head sculpt is much better than the one that it came with. This one's a lot more pissed off. It looks better. I like these, like, camo, like, orangish, bronzish, navy-ish pants going on. I like, like, the cow-type stripes or spots that we got going on right here on the belt. And again, just a simple head swap, but I still think 
think he gets the job done. Coming in next is The Fiend. Now The Fiend is technically a custom if you count his hair being painted, but the boots is what we did. And I think the boot covers put and getting put on there really does a lot of wonders for this figure. Makes it more accurate. I just like it. I love the way that the, the boot covers go on there and I like the way the feet look on there. Really simple stuff, but it still looks good for The Fiend right there. And simple, but sometimes the more simple fix-ups are the better ones. Coming in next, we gotta give a huge shout-out to Mike the Wrestling Collector for the Tony Nese Elite fix-up. This is a fix-up slash custom, I guess, but it is a Finn Balor Top Talents. I still haven't removed this, but, you know, it's just a Tony Nese head sculpt with John Cena biceps with a Finn Balor base. Works perfect for an Elite Tony Nese, if you guys were wondering. There you go. It's a perfect formula for it, and if I was a bigger fan of Tony Nese, I would probably put that a lot higher, but I'm just not the biggest fan. I like Tony Nese, but, you know, if it was like a Cedric that we had built out of those parts, I would be, you know, like, holy crap, look how sick this is, but for that reason, that's why Tony Nese goes this low. Up next, we have another Randy Orton, and it is this one, which is the Elite 67 with a different head sculpt. This is probably one of my favorite Randy Orton head sculpts ever. It is the Basic 74, I think, head sculpt, and again, pretty plain Jane, but I like this one better than that one. It's got the beard, pretty much. It, it's just better to me, so I ranked it ahead of that one and ahead of Tony Nese. Coming in, we have a newer fix-up that we have, and it is the Apollo Crews in white. I really like this one a lot, but I just like other ones more. It may be because this has been seen without knee pads for so long, and now adding the white knee pads, it just doesn't feel as fresh to me, but it's still a really great fix-up. I just don't think it belongs any higher on the list in my personal opinion, so I'm going to stick it right there. Go ahead and make your prediction for what's number one down in the comment section below if you guys can think. I know we have a lot of fix-ups to get through, but that's just something I'm thinking of. We have the Hurricane fix-up, the Elite 75 with the larger kick pads. You guys know that the Kevin Owens has the shorter kick pads on it that the Hurricane came with, but I just switched it out for the longer ones, and it's very simple, yet very effective. I think the height may be adjusted now, which kind of sucks, but I still like that fix-up. It makes it more accurate looking, and that uh, that does increase some football points right there. Next up is this red attire. So it's the Network Spotlight with the Elite 66 head sculpt and uh, all red gloves and all red kick pads. We did two versions of this, and the blue version is ranked higher than this red version, but uh, I still like the red version. I think it's creative, so it, it belongs in a higher spot right here in the countdown. We have a Seth Rollins fix-up, and this is probably the first of many, but it's just a simple head swap. This is the TNF Seth Rollins, and actually, it may be more than that, but it's pretty much, if you took the TNF Seth Rollins and then head swapped it, this is what you would get besides the arm articulation. I did fix that as well, but it's still really nice. It's really simple again, but just that simple head swap does wonders over that screaming head sculpt that he came with, so that has to go up a little bit higher. We have our Super Showdown John Cena. I don't know why the hell, what the hell I was about to say, but Super Showdown John Cena, a bunch of combinations of parts here. I love this head sculpt with these armbands and the black and white sneakers. Looks just like he did at Super Showdown. Really, really simple. Just not the most exciting figure ever, but it is a nice one that I wanted to add to the John Cena collection, which may be in the hundreds now. I don't think we're at the hundred mark, but we're like in the late 90s, so that's pretty cool. We have a Drake Maverick fix-up. This one is super underrated, I think. I need to do like a most underrated fix-up because putting those smaller hands on this guy really does wonders for this figure. It makes it look so much better and more proportionate. Just look how great that looks. His hands were massive. Now they look a lot better, and I had to stick this guy a little bit high on the list or higher than these other figures because of how great that figure looks now and how accurate it looks after the fix-up. Next up is a Jeff Hardy fix-up. Now, this one I felt that could have went higher, but, you know, it's not the craziest. You have, and I think this is an entrance greats Jeff Hardy with the Elite 75 head sculpt and the right arm. I like the black playing into the purple sleeve, plays into the purple hair, the purple and blue here into the face, and then the black all mixes together. And then you have your random neon green and then the nail polish right there. I don't know. It's, it's kind of cool, but I feel like I have better Jeff Hardy fix-up, so I went with that. But that is an underrated one as well. Next up, guys, is another Hurricane, and we have this Hurricane version, which I really love. It's got the TNF three-pack Walmart exclusive Sting boots on it, and I just think this green matches beautifully with the rest of the figure. You guys can let me know what you think down below, but I just love the way this looks. I just love the way these green boots look with the rest of the green in the attire. You guys let me know, but I definitely like this Hurricane better than that Hurricane simply because it's outside of the box thinking, and that is always going to kind of get bonus points in my opinion. Moving on next, guys, we have this Kevin Owens, which is the blue version. So we have the red version, we have the blue version. I think I like the blue version a lot better. First of all, blue is one of my favorite colors, and then the blue just is a fresh take. I, I think it's why I like SmackDown better than Raw. It's like the, the blue just looks better on my TV than the red, and the arms are fixed here. It's just a beautiful fix-up. I like this a lot. I like it way more than the red version. I'm not exactly sure why, but you guys can let me know. Do you like the blue KO or the red KO better? Kevin Owens is probably my favorite wrestler on the main roster, so this is just beautiful to me, and it's not the highest on the list, but it is one of those that crept up there simply because it's so clean. Coming up next, guys, is an Elite 
77 fix up. It is the Elite 77 AJ Styles. Basically, we just switched out the knee pad with plain black knee pads, and then we gave him two red kick pads to tie in. I think one of these was like black and silver. We switched that out for red. That way, the red ties into the gloves, and it's just perfect. That, that matches perfectly with the gloves and the rest of the attire. Makes it uniform, and those are the best ones, man. When you can make it clean and uniform, those are the ones that get the, get the money right there. Next up is an LA... A little... We have an Elite 8 Edge fix-up, which is very simple, but again, the simple fix-ups are the nicest, man. We switched out the lower arms with some basic Edge arms that have the the red rated R gauntlets on there, and I think he is missing some tattoos that he needs, but uh, that's not the biggest deal to me. I could always get a decal if I need it, but I don't even think it's needed. The red gauntlets look so good with the red attire. I mean, it's, it's simple. It's simple math, man. It's simple figmatics. Come on. Next up is an AFW fix-up, and this is a Sami Zayn that I didn't think I would like, but now that I've done it, like when I first First day, I was like, holy crap, bro. That looks so sick. I love the white hand tape. The red boots. These are James Ellsworth boots. They fit in beautifully with the attire. I love the all red boots. They kind of just mesh perfectly with the red and black of the attire. And you can switch out any head sculpt you want. Sami Zayn is great and his figures are great. And that, that fix up super underrated. I'm going to scoot the camera back a little bit because we got all these figures invading my personal bubble and I don't like it. Next up is Pete Dunn, guys. And we these are the Elite 74 Finn Balor kick pads with Daniel Bryan arms or Finn Balor arms as well. I need to switch out his hands for regular mic holding hands instead of the choke slamming hands, but this Pete Dunn looks great. It is the collector's edition Pete Dunn with white kick pads and white wrist tape. Very uh, underrated fix up as well. It's just something simple and plain, but uh, you guys know that's the cleanest. Next up is an Alistair Black fix up that I don't think gets enough credit as well. I feel like a lot of people forget about this. This is his Hell's Gate attire. It is the Elite 73, but I put on Rey Mysterio wrist gauntlets because you guys know that figure came with no wrist tape. And then I put some Seth Rollins cash in knee pads on there to have the gold outline with the black and then I put black lower legs and black kick pads from his first NXT Elite because how clean is that? Like the super, the, you have the black and gold from the knee down and then you have the gray tying in, you have gold on the back of the attire, beautiful entrance vest, wrist gauntlets, it's just a beautiful fix up. I, th I thought it was pretty underrated, kind of outside the box thinking, you know, pairing some different parts from different stuff together. Those are the best fix ups again. Next up guys is a pair of Jeff Hardys. Now I have this version where it's just the SummerSlam basic or it's one of those basic, you you know, it's Jeff Hardy figures with the black and green, the purple and green ties into the purple face paint. And then just ahead of that, I put this Elite 75 with the entrance crates head sculpt with the lime green tying into the face, the purple and the bluish tones tying into the, the arm paint. Really nice. You could put these either or, but I thought I liked the entrance crates head on this body better than this head on this body. So you guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below as well. But I think I like this fix up just slightly more than the other. Next, guys, we have the blue version of the AJ Styles. I told you the blue version was cleaner. I just like it, man. It's just so much cleaner. I love the blue right here. Tying into the gloves. Elite 66 head sculpt on the network spotlight with the blue kick pads. That is super clean. I love it. I freaking love it. I would even go as far as if I would just paint over all the red and it would just be blue and white, I'd probably lose my damn mind. But at this juncture, we're going to keep it this way. But it's still a super nice AJ Styles fix up. Coming up, guys, we have a bunch of Seth Rollins coming up. Starting off, we have this fix up Seth Rollins that has the Shield Elite 70 Seth Rollins vest on there with the shield mark removed. He has on some Rey Mysterio gauntlets, I think, and then he just has the top talent Seth Rollins with the SR kick pad switched out, so it's just a plain black attire, but it is very nice. It kind of reminds me of his SummerSlam attire from last year, and it is just super plain, but it is just so nice. You can even put the new Seth Rollins Elite 75 head sculpt on here, and it probably look even better, but I like that fix-up a lot. Very, very easy. No paint chipping or anything you don't have to worry about. That's what's the best about fix-ups is you don't have to worry about paint chip, and it kind of looks like your own creation. It's just beautiful. I may like fix-ups better than customs. Next up, guys, we have actually, now that I'm seeing this, this is actually a custom and I don't want to include it, but all it is is a head swap, but I did paint the knee pads now, so I, you're disqualified, sir. I'm sorry. Even though that's a be beautiful fix-up. It's a custom, you jackass. Next up is the Elite 78 Kofi Kingston fix-up, and this one is nice. We put the Elite 60 Kofi feet on there. Ties in beautifully with the beautifully colored attire, and the white just pops off nice, and we did fix the head sculpt even though we snapped the neck and it really upset me. But that, that one was super clean. I had to put it this high on the list. I just like how clean the colors look on Elite 78 Kofi. 
had to include it there. Ladies and gentlemen, we're moving into probably the top 20 now. And one of those is this fantasy attire, Seth Rollins. It kind of reminds me of like a 2014 Rollins if he had switched up his attire just a little bit, taken the gloves off. You guys can see here with the black wrist tape arms, you have the Elite 37 with some top talents, Finn Balor, kick pads, and some silver knee pads. Very simple, but I love the attires where you can just kind of pair stuff up, you can put it together, and it creates your own little magical attire. You guys know I love that ish. That's why I love fix-ups, because you can make your own attires switching parts and doing all kinds of stuff, which is why we do appointment and surgery. Speaking of which, this is a figure that I swear to God doesn't get enough love, and I swear it's so underrated, and I don't know why I love it that much. I honestly feel if this had chest hair on it, like if it had the, the torso of an updated Seth Rollins, like, uh, like this Seth Rollins over here, if it had this torso on it, it would probably be ranked very, very, very high, probably in the top five for some reason, but I love how it has like kind of an infinity gauntlet vibe to it with the white wrist tape. It has the white on both kick pads. Then you have the one gold knee pad with the white and gold here. I don't know why I like this so much. It's kind of stupid how much I like it, but I just like it, man. I don't know. And a lot of people, I think, feel the same way. You either love this fix up or you hate it. You can let me know what you think down below, but I love it to death. And you guys can tell me exactly what you think, but I really want to put chest hair on there, but I don't want to paint it on there or pencil it on. I want the official Seth Rollins torso, so I may have to get somebody to switch it because I think it would make it that much better, but I love this like fantasy weird attire of mesh of Seth Rollins parts. All right, guys, we're moving into the nitty gritty. I think we're in like the top 10 or 12 or so right here. Let's get into it. We have this Jeff Hardy two-pack Hardy Boys like FYE exclusive, also WWE shop exclusive, where it's the, you know, it's the light blue sleeves, and I just put a modern head sculpt on it. This head sculpt's much better than that other one, and it just is so clean. I love the lime green that you got going on right here. I like the, the nail polish. I just like the blue and the, the black. It just ties in perfectly. I really like this head sculpt, too. The True Effects head sculpt with the lime green gauges. Just super fire, man. Super underrated. Very, very easy to do, but it's just so clean. Next up is another just head swap, guys. We have the Elite 35 Orton with the Elite 67 head sculpt on it. I don't know why I love this so much. I honestly would love it even more if I did a torso swap with the Elite 67 with the shoulders and arms from that figure because I think the, you know, the torso having those extra tattoos and stuff would be so sick. I think that would make this look so damn badass. But for now, it is down here and that would probably lift it up even higher, but for now, it is coming in right here. Next up, guys, is one of the last Seth Rollins we have and it is the red figure. So we have the SummerSlam Rollins with the Elite 45 arms, the Elite 37 head sculpt, and then we have the Buddy Murphy kick pads on it. I love this so much. I think this is super clean. I think a lot of people would agree this is one of those better fantasy attire fix-up Seth Rollins figures that we have. And it just ties in greatly. I think if there was any red maybe mixed in on the on the gauntlets maybe or something of that nature would probably make it better, but I still like it a lot. Next up is a really simple one too. We have the Finn Balor fix-up, which is the ringside exclusive. It does have the jacket on there, and even if you didn't include the jacket, just the Elite 74 head sculpt on this body just embodies kind of when, you know, Finn Balor came to the main roster, and I just like it. I like ones that embody what the figure looks like or what the person looked like in real life, and this just does greatly. Uh, it does have painting on the kick pads, but even if you took that white off right there, even if you want to disqualify it, it's still a beautiful figure that I want to showcase, so there you go. Next up is another recent one we had. We have the Elite 78 Randy Orton with the Elite 67 head sculpt. I had a lot of people that said they loved the way this figure looked in the last video where we fixed this up, and I agree with you. I think this looks great. I really like that we're getting colors in our Elite Randy Orton's. We need to continue that trend. I'd like to see some colorful trunks. I know we're getting that new Fan Central one or the Vote one, and I can't wait to do fix-ups with that one because I think that this torso looks great with all these different trunks. These new Randy Orton figures look great, and I like this Randy a whole lot. Next up, guys, is another Seth Rollins fantasy fix-up. We have the Elite 75 Full Orange Kick Pads. Now, this is one I think that a lot of people love or you hate. Again, the Elite 27 Kofi Kingston lower legs and full orange kick pads on this figure make it look kind of insane. And I know that it definitely looks insane, but it's super unique. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do something like that. With the Elite 37 here with the blonde streak, I really like. Even if you used any Seth Rollins head sculpt, I still like the attire a lot. And again, no paint chipping. You can play with this all you want. It's not going to chip. It looks great. And I like the, the solid orange just really pops it off. Next up is a super, super underrated fix up. I honestly want to rank it higher and I just might at the end, who knows, but this Elite 60 Kofi Kingston with the Elite 78 feet, I just love the way the bronze and white ties into the rest of the American flag attire. You know, when you think of gold and white like this, it's kind of looking bronze on camera, but it's, it's more of a gold. When you think of the Olympics and USA and competing and stuff like that, you think of gold. You know, you're competing for the gold and the gold just represents the USA so nice right there and it ties in beautifully to the attire. I love this. I think this is fantastic and I might even just switch out the head sculpt with this and just make like a crazy 
Kofi Kingston looking figure because I love this attire with these gold feet. I think that just looks so clean with the white outsoles, man. Super underrated, and it, it flexes a whole lot better than those wing shoes. Even though the wing shoes are nice, this Kofi is one of my favorites in the collection, if not the. I love that, man. So clean. Just look at it. Now, up next, guys, we are moving into the top six, and number six, we have this Jeff Hardy fix-up, which is the Survivor Series head sculpt on the Elite 75 body with the, I think, an entrance greats arms on there. I think this kind of reminds me of just that 06, 07 Jeff Hardy vibes where you have, you know, the you have the braids, you have the white sleeves with the white tank top. Kind of reminds me of when him and Matt were Raw Tag Team Champions or World Tag Team Champions. And it just looks great. I'm hoping we get a Jeff from this era without, you know, with the updated tattoos, with some championships. They could still make a lot of great Jeff attires. And I just love this one, man. That, that head sculpt looks good on any Jeff. And I, I had to put it in the top six. Coming in at number five, guys, we have the final of our fantasy Seth Rollins attires. It is the top talent Seth Rollins with the updated head sculpt, the Tyson Kidd arms, the Mustafa Ali kick pads, and the Seth Rollins knee pad right there. Completely put together. If you take the regular top talents with the X-Men attire, it's pretty plain Jane with black and yellow, but throwing in this extra yellow on the kick pads, throwing in the SR knee pad, throwing in the Tyson Kidd yellow and black gauntlets, this is very sick. I love this one. It got a ton of positive feedback from you guys, and I agree with you. It just is so cool. I love mixing and matching parts can do wonders for figures and kind of make your own fantasy attire, and again, it's just the best. Doing that is so awesome, and that's why this figure comes in at a very high ranking. Coming in at number four, guys, we have a figure that could have went at number five, you know, whatever, but I went ahead and put it at number four. We have the updated Roman Reigns. Shout out to Mike the Wrestling Collector. You have the Top Talents vest with the Elite 56 head sculpt. You have the white and black gauntlets and then the white and black shoes right here. Very, very clean, very simple. I just love this head sculpt. I like the way the white ties into everything, and being a Roman Reigns figure, it's kind of hard to get those nice fix-ups, those nice things that aesthetically go together without it just being black or gray. So having the white accents, having the slight blue in there, the great head sculpt, this is a very solid figure and I wanted to put it up pretty high. I like it a lot. I find myself posing it around a lot more. Really fun figure. Coming in at number three is the Entrance Great Finn Balor with the red kick pads. Now I know it does have paint on the feet, but if you didn't paint this thing at all, if you just acetoned off all the paint on the red kick pads, it reminds me of an NXT Demon Finn Balor and you cannot get a ripped up Finn Balor torso like this with red kick pads that would look this good kind of reminding you of that NXT attire because if you use the Jack the Ripper Finn Balor, the red is too dark and it doesn't look as good as this bright red that you get on these kick pads, on these knee pads, in this body paint and so for that reason I like the head sculpt as well. Ripped up torso taped fingers, it's beautiful. I love this. It just looks so good. I don't know why I love it so much, probably because I'm a Finn Balor freak, but it looks so damn good I had to put it this high and it's super fire nasty farkles. It just looks so good. I had to put it at the number 3 spot. You're probably wondering wondering what the hell is two and one, but I will explain all of that, but that had to come in at number three. Backing this up just a little bit more here as we finish up. Coming in at number two, kind of a cheat, but it's not a custom. It is a fix-up. It is the Super Cena figure. Now, this is a fix-up. It's a fix-up, man. I don't know what you want from me. It's a figure with a head swap. It's the basic 100 John Cena head sculpt on a Superman DC multiverse body, and it works perfectly for a Super Cena. It obviously has a loose head sculpt, but it is super creative, out-of-the-box thinking. It looks great on the figure. It fits in perfectly with the collection. Maybe a little bit taller, you know, but not a deal breaker, man. It looks great. I like it a lot, and it came in at number two. You know, I feel like it would have been completely cheating had I put it at number one, but I put it at the number two spot. So let's get into the number one ranking, guys. Coming in at number one, probably going to shock a lot of you, but I just love the way this figure looks. It is going to be the Elite Rey Mysterio fix-up from Elite Series 72 combined with the Elite 69. I don't know why I love this so much. Okay, so we have the Elite 72 head sculpt, the Elite 72 armbands, the Elite 72 gauntlets and gloves, but then we get the Elite 69 pants, which have the white, the tie into the gloves, the mask, the green on the mask. You have black outlines on this attire that tie into the mask and the gauntlets as well, as well as the little armbands. And then the boots, which set this thing apart. The black and white boots tie in beautifully to the attire and the rest of it. I don't know why I love this so much. I want to get more of the Elite 72 Ray and other Rays to do some simple fix-ups like this because his figures just look so good. Like, I just love the way this figure looks, and I honestly can't explain why it's so high on the list and why it's number one. I just, every time I see this, it makes me excited to customize again. It makes me excited to fix up figures, and I don't know. Are you getting the same vibes? Just look at it. Look at the boots and the, and the face and the, the pants. I mean, it's practically the Elite 72 figure, except it has the Elite 69 pants, and I don't know why it just looks so damn good. You can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below, but that is everything right 
ranked. That is every single MDT WWE action figure fix up ranked for 2020 thus far. We'll probably do it again at the end of the year. We'll see what kind of mixes up in here. We'll just have to see about that. That's four months away or so. Plenty of more fix ups to come. Plenty of more new figures to get in here that we'll probably fix up and do on surgery and appointment. But I think that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for sticking around. I hope you guys watched all the way through. I would love to know down below what your favorite fix up from this video is. Please let me know down in the comment section below. How would you have ranked them? What's your thoughts on everything? Is something too low? Is something too high? Let me know down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.